Hello there, and good afternoon. I spent 50 hours getting every achievement in SCP Secret Laboratory. I wanted to get them as fast as possible, but I was truly not ready for the amount of physical and emotional exhaustion that I have ever faced in my entire life. Some of these achievements were absolutely impossible to obtain, and imagine my shock when I did not expect how long it would take. So join me throughout my journey of pain and suffering. It witnessed me try to answer the question, how fast can you get all achievements in SCP Secret Laboratory? Throughout my many years of playing SCP Secret Laboratory, I knew some achievements were more difficult than others. So, I came up with the idea of categorization. I would try and get the easy ones at the start of my journey, and gradually make my way up from there towards the more challenging ones. I split the achievements into three different categories. The easy achievements, like the ones where all you have to do is simply die from gravity or even pick up an 05. The RNG-based achievements, the achievements based purely off of luck and the Northwood gods determining whether or not I become an SCP or not. And finally, the hard achievements, like escaping the facility in under 3 minutes. I kept a Google Doc of these achievements on my second monitor to constantly keep myself updated on what I wanted to accomplish first, and then I would go from there. Some achievements could be tackled together, whilst some are completely separate. I also set some ground rules from the start of my journey. I disallowed myself from using friends in order to help me get my achievements. I would not ask any admins or moderators to spawn people in or spawn me stuff in order to help me out. And absolutely, positively, no cheating of any kind. I would have to obtain these achievements by simply just playing the game. However, I allowed myself to go on whatever server I wanted to and allowed myself to tell people in-game what I was going for and would see if they wanted to help me out or not. Furthermore, the two seasonal achievements aka Play SL on Halloween and Play SL on Christmas are the two achievements I have decided to not go for. Since, well, I can't really get them unless I wait an entire year. With the ground rules set, I joined a VC with my friend and made a fresh new alt account. I'm going to. You can, you can also oh, see the mouse. Just... I want to make sure he's really off center. He's just. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. There you go. Oh my god. 35 achievements, man. Ugh. 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 If I'm facility guard, I'm gonna run into a heavy, run into heavy and uh, jump into a Tesla gate. If I'm a D class or a scientist, I'm gonna die to 173. If there is no 173, then I'm just gonna jump off to get uh, three achievements in one. Uh, the die in the one minute and um, no, 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 two achievements in one. Die in one minute and then die from a gravity. After making my account, I start out my journey by spawning as a scientist, running around light containment zone as fast as I possibly can in order to knock out two achievements at the same time. Die within the first minute of the game and have your neck snapped by SCP-173. Eventually, I did find SCP-173. No, 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 no. Like I stated previously, achievements can be knocked out basically in the same action. If I wanted to, I could have spawned as a guard and ran into heavy, dumped into a Tesla gate, and then boom, die from Tesla gate achievement, and die within one minute achievement done. This makes obtaining these achievements much, much easier and saves me a lot of time. I respawned as MTF, which is the easiest achievement in the entire game, and decided to go for the intercom achievement, where I broadcast a <coughs> helpful message to the facility. This is what I want. I actually need this. Wait, instead of, okay, I can actually use this to go down into the intercom, grab it, and then I can, oh God, that doesn't sound good. Did I not make it, 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 it? The intercom thing didn't count. Why did it not count? Why did what game? Why did it not count? Why did you not count the intercom? 
So naturally, when it didn't trigger the achievement, I just chalked it off as an error on my part. So I decided to speak into the intercom for the entire duration instead of just talking into it for one second. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get the achievement where you need to use the intercom. Uh, broadcast a helpful message via the intercom. So I just used it twice, one for a full duration and it didn't work at all. So I guess I'm not allowed. After the intercom achievement bugging, I concluded that it was broken and just decided to remove it off my list. I tried this two more times and still no dice. So I guess it isn't making it onto the completed achievement list. The next goal I was trying to complete was the achievement where I take adrenaline and survive a hit that would kill you. I searched high and low, contemplated whether or not jumping into the Tesla gate for the Tesla gate achievement, only to get yeeted by 106 and sent into his pocket dimension. It doesn't matter if I live or die, I just need to get taken. Yeah, there we go. And I should get the achievement. Yep, die inside the pocket dimension. Alrighty. After waiting, I spawned as Chaos, ticking off one achievement, and realized I had an adrenaline in my inventory. Ooh, I have, um, I have this. So I think if I take the adrenaline and jump, I should live. Should. Yes. Did I get the achievement? I got the achievement. A few rounds later, I was somehow fortunate enough to get SCP-173. Now, this actually works in my favor. I could knock off the kill five people in less than 30 seconds achievement, which I thought would be extremely easy. Um, apparently this game says otherwise. Can you unlock uh, 914? Uh, sure, one sec. Mm. All right, uh... You're not making it- It's kinda sad. Oh, I'm trying to get this. Yeah. That card sad you did. Oh. Let's oh. All right. Oh. All right. So I didn't really get anything from that round. That was a pretty worthless round. Yeah. So unfortunately, I did not get the achievement. So once again, I chalked it off as human error and not a game error, and just decided to go for something else. Luckily, a round later, I got a gun as a D-Class, which knocked off the achievement where I pick up a gun as a D-Class, and then I decided to... Let's just say I decided to do a little trolling to a couple of scientists. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, sh I shot them. I shot them. I also managed to find a guard who didn't immediately shoot me on sight, so I decided to make my move when he was holding nothing, and I detained him. Don't worry, I undetained him and let him pick his stuff back up. He was super chill. I was extremely fortunate that round. I managed to obtain three achievements in one singular round. My pace so far has been very, very good. I just needed to maintain this pace, and I would be done in about three or four days. Right? Right? The next round, I speed ran getting as many items as I could as a facility guard, grabbed the micro HID, and shocked the absolute living shit out of SCP-173. That means I got to kill an SCP with the micro achievement, which I actually thought would be pretty difficult. Luckily, it wasn't. I am now going to speedrun the rest of day one and show you the moments where I got the achievements. Let's you know, let's do a montage. Why not? Montage time. Day 3 was streamed live. When I decided to go live, I thought it would be a pretty easy stream. Oh how wrong. I was. This was the beginning of a two week long mental exhaustion, and I didn't even begin to think about how much more painful it was going to get. The achievements I was trying to go for the entire stream were the two nuke achievements. I would need to survive the nuke and turn off the nuke in under 15 seconds. They sound pretty easy, but in actuality, it was extremely annoying. Because of the ground rules I set for myself at the start of my journey, I didn't want any of my viewers joining me to try and help me or snipe me. Little did I know, some people really don't like listening, 
and also really like somehow finding the server I'm in and joining me. Thanks guys. So I fail at getting either of the two achievements non-stop for an entire hour and a half until I finally made it to this very lucky instance. The nuke was primed to go off, no one was going to bother us, all we needed to do was not die. So I need to do it at like 14, 13 seconds. I need to turn it off at 14, 13 seconds. Then I have the achievement. Why would he drop that? Why would he drop the ashes? I'm gonna die. No, dude, no. Why did he drop it? No. Yep. I uh, didn't notice how fast my health was draining. So it uh, resulted in me uh, dying. Whatever. You know, I'm not mad. I'm not mad or anything. I only told the guy to not drop the vase and he didn't listen to me at all. I'm not mad. Why would I be mad? After raging, I sat there for a solid two minutes in total shock. I decided to take a break, walk around for a bit, grab and eat an orange. I'm trying to open this orange, but it, like, the, the stem won't come off. And try again. I, I, no, I sent someone up there with the O5 and um, a cola. He's, he's, I believe in him. <gasps> he has backup. He's going to make it, man. <laughs> he's going to make it. Well, actually, we need to stay in ground. And you know what I have? I like that. I like that idea. Yeah. I'm not good at it with it at all, but well, I- Well, I mean, no one is, because desync fucks you over. It's it's actually impossible to use it now, because of desync. Wait, really? Yes. Hold on, I'm gonna send it down so nothing can use it quickly. He did make it, boys. He actually made it. Cross your fingers, chat. I'm I'm probably not even gonna I'm not even gonna do it. I was kidding. I already have the two. Uh, well, I, I need, I need. I was insanely lucky that round. And that's not all. Do you know what other achievement I got in the exact same round a little while later? Boys. Boys. We've done both achievements. We've done both achievements. You guys get to witness this live. You're gonna witness this live. I'm going to go into the thing. Go here. And I get to cross them out. Cause I've done it. Oh my god. Yup. I got what I considered at the time to be the hardest RNG based achievements in the entire game. It was a big milestone for me and I am very happy I was able to knock these achievements off the list before it started to get even more annoying. And with all of that out of the way, I ended the stream on a very great note. I'm trying to get the three minute. I'm trying to get the three minute. I'm like, I, I think it's, I don't know how long it's been. Okay, I'm not gonna shut the elevator. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be an MC. I'm gonna be an MC. Yes, 
two minutes 51. Two minutes 51. Dude, good job. You don't understand. I've been going for this for an entire week. A week? Oh my god. When I got mine, I just oh my god. After getting the achievements on day 4, I attempted to get the achievement where I kill 5 people in less than 30 seconds. I thought it would actually be pretty easy, and decided to take advantage of the recently removed spawn protection several times against the chaos. Little did I know, however, me obtaining the achievement would not be the case. After killing 5 people in less than 30 seconds, I once again chalked it up as human error. So, without hesitation, I tried it again. But this time, I would use the ultimate homemade trolling device on the chaos instead of just shooting them in less than 30 seconds. The achievement doesn't specify what weapon I use to eliminate 5 people, so I took that to mean I can use literally anything. And use literally anything, I sure did. And you, and you know what's funny? All of you died for nothing because it still didn't give me the kill 5 enemies in 30 seconds achievement. I just killed the entire chaos way. After the foolproof grenade strategy not working, I reluctantly removed it off the list, as I deemed it unobtainable. On the topic of unobtainable, the contain 106 achievement. This one also doesn't work, and I presume to be bugged as well. No matter how many times I killed SCP-106, the game refused to hand over what was rightfully mine. So, I decided to mark it down as also unobtainable, leaving three achievements totally bugged with multiple attempts to back myself up with. Thankfully, that leaves me with less achievements I have to obtain. However, I never could have known how much longer I would spend on this exhausting challenge. The next two achievements I was trying to go for was the two SCP based ones, die while entering rage as 096, and cure 10 people as 0 for 9. Simple enough, right? Well that's where you are absolutely wrong. I don't know if this game has a personal vendetta against me, but after receiving the kill someone charging the micro achievement as an SCP, it took an additional 10 hours of playtime in order to get SCP 0 for 9, even once. And then another FIVE HOURS on top of the already 10 hours to get SCP-096 once. In fact, it took 43 hours to get 096 once. But to me, it didn't matter which one I received first. I just wanted to obtain one of them. One of them would be greatly appreciated. And lucky for me, I got 0 for 9 after so much waiting. Let me get him. Got one? I got one on the left. Where is he? Where'd you get him? I got him by server. Oh, I'm not making it. Am I? No, I'm not making it to him. No. I made it! I made it! I made it! Oh my god. Dude, please, 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 Holy game. Holy shit. <laughs> stupid, let's you stupid go. content creator, you're gonna mess your challenge up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yes! God damn it, I finally got it! Yes! 
Oh my god, okay, we're tryharding. Finish the game. I'm 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 not I'm not hand, I'm not holding back anymore. The next achievement I said I wanted was the 096 one. And after previously stating it took 43 hours to get 096 once, the time I got him, I absolutely shit the bed. It's my chance! Oh, he got I need a deafen, I need a deafen, I need a deafen, I need a deafen, I need a deafen. I had one chance. I had to wait for MTF to spawn. If MTF didn't spawn, my plan would be completely ruined. Fortunately, my team wasn't doing so well. So the second MTF spawned, I ran up into surface to finally grab my achievement. After 43 hours, I was finally going to obtain it. 43 hours, and almost two weeks later, I was finally going to finish this achievement that I thought was impossible. Yes! 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 Did it not work? I will leave. Did it not work? Did it not work? I clicked R. I clicked- No, no, it didn't work. No, I clicked R. I clicked R. No. Oh, it's hold! After 43 hours and almost two weeks, I was at my breaking point. After not receiving the achievement, I was completely done. So I did the only thing that came to mind. After all of this time, I had to make an exception and cheat. If my luck was going to be this bad, after 43 hours of playtime, I would absolutely never receive the achievement legitimately. So I unfortunately caved hopped on my server, got one of my admins to give me 096, and kill me while I was entering my rage. Is the achievement possible? Yes. Yes, the achievement is definitely possible. But after so much frustration and mental fatigue, I was completely done with it. And the bigger problem was, I still wasn't done. I had to obtain one more achievement. Kill 50 D-Class as a scientist. The next three days consisted of me solely trying to obtain the Kill 50 D class as a scientist achievement. My odds were slim to none, and getting scientists was purely based off of RNG. It's the same issue with the SCP based achievements. You have to pray that your RNG is good enough to receive the specific SCP you need, and then with even more luck obtain the achievement. After day 8, I basically stopped recording any game that wasn't me being a scientist. If I spawned as a D-Class, SCP, Guard, MTF, Chaos, I would just die from gravity and alt-tab and watch videos until I received Scientist. I repeated this cycle for hours. It was the definition of insanity. Fortunately, when I did receive Scientist rounds, it was very productive, and I was able to actually kill some D-Class every round. As I spent more and more rounds receiving the one class the game refused to give me, I started thinking about the long-term approach of this challenge. If it continued like this, I would never be able to upload this video in a timely manner. I would spend many more hours dying and disconnecting, and dying and disconnecting, and dying and disconnecting to get the one class I needed. I began to get very upset when I got literally anything else. I got 939! Why am I 939? Dude, oh my god, it's giving me every SCP but the one I need! Oh my god, dude. It kept dawning on me that I would never be able to finish this challenge. Would I continue to spend another week, or worse yet, another two weeks trying to get this one stupid achievement? Would I ever even obtain it? I kept trying. I kept respawning as a scientist, and trying my absolute hardest to get a gun to shoot D-Class. 
Spawn as a scientist, try and grab a gun, kill D-Class, die. Spawn as a scientist, try and grab a gun, kill D-Class, die. Spawn as a scientist, try and grab a gun, kill D-Class, die. It would never end. This continued for hours. For three days and hours of footage, hours of getting D-Class 300 trillion actual times, and hours of doing the same thing over and over again. It got to the point I would receive a gut-wrenching feeling whenever I clicked to play the game. This was clearly not good for my health. And after three days of barely receiving scientists, constantly dying, and always getting something other than this one roll I needed, I was done. I gave up. I gave up with this last achievement. After all of these rounds, I had only killed 13 D-Class out of 50. With this pace, I would never get the achievement in a timely manner. This challenge pushed me to my limits, and I couldn't deal with it anymore. I was sick of the RNG, and I wanted this achievement done already. So, I unfortunately hopped back on my server, got one of my admins to help me, and got the achievement by cheating. Only to also get the kill 5 people in less than 30 seconds achievement. How? I have the achievement. Wait, 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 I have the achievement. Wait. How did I get that achievement? That achievement was broken. How did I get that achievement? How did I get that achievement? Whatever. I proved it was possible anyways, so I guess it popping up here doesn't really matter. What did matter was that I was finally free. After 50 plus hours, 2 weeks, and over 20 hours of footage, I think it is safe to say that I did my best at tackling this challenge. I haven't seen anyone else go for this, because honestly who would, and I'm happy to say I put in an honest effort before I went and cheated. Getting all of these achievements are possible legitimately, and I would love to see any of you guys go for them. I wish you all the best, and have a good rest of your day everybody.